Hi guys, welcome back to the third part of the video series. If you haven't seen the previous parts, please do check them out first, the links are given in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's finish up the model with whatever parts that are left now. From here, select CV Curve Tool, and then create a curve along this shape. Now go to Control Vertex and tweak the vertices to smooth out the curve. I will keep this curve in a layer. And now, create a cube, scale it down to match with the shape and the reference image. And then go to Face Mode, and delete all the faces, except one side face. Now select the object, and make it center pivot. Then, by holding C key, middle mouse click on the starting point of the curve, to snap the object over here. After that, go to face mode, select this face, shift select the curve, and then apply extrude. Increase the divisions to 50, and the edge flow will follow the curve that we have made. Now, go to edge mode, and select all the corner edges, and then apply bevel on them. And now, play with the settings and give it a round shape. After that, turn on the layer of the other parts of the model, and then bring this part out and position it correctly. Now then, create an edge loop over here with the help of multi-cut tool. And then, go to face mode, and select this face loop, and then extrude this out a little bit. After that, place these objects correctly in their position, and then tweak the shape. Now then, isolate only this part. Then go to edge mode, and select this edge loop. Now go to modify and select convert. And from here, choose polygon edges to curve. This will create a curve out of the edge loop which was selected. Now select this curve, make it center pivot, and then move it ahead a little bit. Now if I go to control vertex, we can see that the vertices are not evenly distributed. To know how many vertices you have in this curve, select the curve and go to attribute editor, and here you can see the exact number of spans in the curve. And now, to evenly distribute the vertices, go to Curves, and select Rebuild Option Box. From here, I will reset the settings, then choose Uniform, and then I will increase the number of spans to 150, and then click on Rebuild. And now if I go to Control Vertex, we can see that all the vertices are evenly distributed. Now create a cube. Go to the front view, and first hide these objects in a layer. Now apply smooth to the cube, and increase the division to 2. Now then, scale it down to match with the reference image. I will keep the scale to 0.1. After that, go to face mode, and then delete the back faces. Now select this object and click on these buttons one after another. And now, press Ctrl D to duplicate the object, and then move it aside. As we can see that this is translating in x-axis, and I will keep the distance between the two objects to 0.1. Delete this object, because we don't need it anymore. And now, select this one, then go to Edit, and select Duplicate Special Option Box. And now from here I will reset the settings. So here, these are all translate, rotate, and scale columns. And the first one is the x-axis, second one is the y-axis, and the third one is the z-axis for each of these options. As we saw that we need to translate an x-axis with the value of 0.1. So I will give the value to this first section. And the number of copies, I will give it 150, same as the number of vertices in the curve. Then click on duplicate special. And then, it will create a copy of 150 objects with the distance of 
Now, drag and select all these objects, shift select the curve, then go to modify, and select snap align objects, and then select position along curve. And it will snap all the objects along the curve with evenly spaced distance. Now drag and select all the objects, deselect this one, and place it properly. Now go to front view, and from here, delete those spheres which are penetrating, and adjust the positions for rest of them. The modeling part is now completed. In the next part of the video series, you will learn about how to do the UV unwrapping of the model. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for the next part of the video series.